All right, welcome back everybody. We've got another video for you today in our rescue series. And what we're gonna look at during this one is passing a knot, or in this case, a bend in two separate ropes uh, through a mechanical advantage system on a raise, okay? Um, this technique has got a really cool name. I didn't make it up, but I'll tell you where I got it from in a moment. It's called a slammer jammer technique. It's probably the simplest and fastest technique I've ever seen in a lot of years of doing this stuff for sending either an inadvertent knot, uh, an isolating knot to isolate out a damage point, the, the, the inevitable uh, alpine butterfly, or in this case, a joining bend through a mechanical advantage on a raise, okay? The uh, way we're gonna, we're gonna look at two different techniques or two different variants in this video for how to do it. One is with the uh, amazingly simple but time-honored uh, technique of using a prussic minding pulley as the progress capture in the back end of the system. And then we're gonna look at a, another variant on that using the CMC Harkin clutch uh, again, as the, pro the progress capture in the back of the mechanical advantage, okay? Um, in another one of our videos, we will look at how to send uh, either the knot or the joining bend through a lower, but in this case, it's simply gonna be on a raise, all right? The, um, the technique itself, where I got it from, it's called a slammer jammer, as I mentioned, and I picked this up on one of the very excellent rigging for rescue programs quite a number of years ago now, uh, in Yosemite Valley in California. It's a brilliant technique, certainly one of the fastest and easiest I've ever seen. Uh, so let's have a look at how it works, okay? Here it is, the slammer jammer. Okay, so first up, we're gonna have a look at the setup we have here and the individual components and see how this is gonna play out uh, to achieve this knot pass. From the forward or leading edge of the system down here, you can clearly see we've got a bend joining our two ropes to create a longer operational rope. We did it in two different colors, orange and green, so you can see what's happening. Um, you'll almost certainly note that it's not a double fisherman's band, and we've deliberately not done that. Uh, in one of our other videos, we'll explain why we're not using that down here. What it is, in fact, is a figure eight band, or otherwise known as a Flemish band. You can see we've got the joining uh, by just there on the upper side, okay? Coming back a step then, forward rope grab and of course we've got a simple three to one happening here we did that more for clarity than anything this system will likewise work with a simple five to one we've just gone three to one so it's easier to see what's going on coming back to the to the anchor back here our progress capture in this instance is a prussic mining pulley we've got a short red prussic in front there and notice also that i've got a duplicate set here ready to go this is going to be intrinsic to making this work. So I've got exactly this again to what is already in play. And you can probably already see where this is headed. Okay, so um, the first thing we need to achieve here now, of course, is to move the forward rope grab, be it a prussic or a mechanical rope grab, doesn't matter which, past the joining bend to get that first step. Okay, so that's what we're going to look at now. Okay, now, so. The detail in how we achieve sending the bend in the rope through the progress capture uh, works by virtue of replicating what we have there forward of the bend, so on the downhill side just here. So what I'm going to do in a moment is I'm going to apply a new matching prussic mining pulley in front here, a new rope grab forwards or down slope of the pulley, connecting it all up together. And then once that's ready to go, and this could even be done as it's traveling by operators who are skilled and practiced in this, we're going to continue to haul in and deliberately jam the bend in the operational ropes here into the progress capture. What's got, what that's gonna cause is when the haul team continues to take in, it's going to generate a deliberate dead leg in this segment of rope forwards of the bend. Now, typically, a dead leg in any mechanical advantage system is inherently dangerous because we're generating slack. And if whatever is causing that to jam suddenly freeze, uh, the entire system could go forwards again. In this instance here, we're going to generate a very small, deliberate dead leg, which is going to enable us to bring the new progress capture back, connecting back into the anchor, thus taking the load 
negating out the old one to steer, which will be immediately unrolled. All right, so it sounds like a bit in it. It's actually quite straightforward. I'm going to look at it in detail now. So we're nearly there. Basically what we're going to do now, we have the new progress capture established downfield of the twining bend, is the ball team is going to continue to take in and the bend is going to travel back and hit the original progress capture like this. So the load is going to travel uh, back. That's going to hit there. And as we continue to take in, it generates a deliberate dead leg, allowing me to take that back and connect straight into the anchor. I'm going to make sure that that ratchet plusic engages and that has now unloaded the original progress capture. You will all have noticed that when we do that, the system mechanical advantage downgrades by one unit of tension. So we go from a three to one, very briefly to a two to one, because this segment of rope becomes unloaded. If we had a simple five to one, of course the system would downgrade from five to one, Four to one. So we only lose one unit of tension very briefly. And the actual amount of slack in the rope is quite literally about this much. So it's certainly not dangerous. And bearing in mind, of course, we would have a redundant delay uh, in place as well. We've left that out for clarity in this instance here. So there we are. We've established our new progress capture. I'm going to remove the old one. Taking off the old pulley. Moving the prusik, and you can see we've achieved our aim there by sending the joining bend through the progress capture at the anchor. What we're going to look at next is the final part in this instance here is sending the bend through the moving two to one pulley at the leading edge of the MA. All right, so we're nearly there. We've traveled the joining bend through the progress capture, we've now established a duplicate system of what we had before. To travel the bend through the leading uh, class 2 pulley down here, it's quite easy because of course we get the whole team just to momentarily let off uh, tension on the standing part of rope at the back of the system. The load will go into this single part just here on the progress capture and this will go slack. We just simply then loosen the leading prusik or release uh, and loosen a mechanical grab if that's what you're using. Slide that backwards that will give us slack here, and in this instance, I can open up my pulley, travel the bend to the other side, snap it back in, and then reset and give the haul team good to go, and they can continue hauling. If we have any anchored class one change of direction pulleys in the back, say in mid flight, not a simple five to one, or simply a change of direction as we have here, the haul team's over there. Uh, again, it's a simple matter of just back tension and just giving some slack, opening the pulley, travelling the, the uh, joining bend through and then continuing the operation. So the tricky part really is only just here. And as you've seen, it's really not that tricky at all uh, by using this technique. What we're going to briefly look at now is just this part of the operation here using the CMC clutch as a progress capture rather than the progress uh, uh, the prusik winding pulley back here. That's what we'll look at now. Alright, so there it is, the slammer jammer technique for passing an inadvertent knot, a damage isolating knot, or a joining bend, in this case, through a mechanical advantage system on a raise. Remember the key things we noted in there are that the technique 
involves generating a deliberate dead leg in the mechanical advantage, which is something normally we would never do, and in, in some instances could be quite dangerous. But this case, we're deliberately doing that. It downgrades the MA by one unit of tension only, uh, and we are only uh, taking back a minimal <coughs> amount of slack in the system, just enough to either reeve through the device, if it's like a clutch, or simply to pull back the prussic minding pulley assembly back into the anchor. Teams that practice this and train it uh, can do it extremely efficiently. And in fact, it's possible to make this happen while the load is still in motion. But you've got to get out there and practice it and give it a go to get good at it. So uh, as I mentioned earlier, we will look at passing the knot uh, through a system on a lower in another one of our videos. So keep an eye out for that. So there we go, slammer jammer. Grab your gear and go out and give it a go. We'll see you next time.